Hello and welcome back to the channel. I've got my painting gear on as you can see. I've just this second finished painting that. It was on cardboard which turned out quite nicely. So watch me paint it here and talk my usual random nonsense. Without further ado, let's do some painting. Hello, welcome to my latest video. Hope you're keeping well and all that jazz. Just got back from a lovely weekend away in Powys in Mid Wales. Just check with those cameras on, which they are. So anyway, I'm going to be painting on this cardboard this time, which is uh, quite nice to paint on. I've got tons of cardboard from an exhibition I did some years ago. Um, Size-wise, I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, it's about 12 by 13 inches, so it's almost square. Um, this edge, the, the vertical, is a bit longer than horizontal, only by about an inch. But anyway, I'll get my palette camera turned on and I'll be back with you in just a second. Right, that's the palette camera on, hopefully. Just get a pointer. I've got Payne's Grey, I've got Olive Green, I've got Red Ochre, a bit of Indian Yellow. There's a hair there. the hell's that doing there? It's not one of mine, it's not grey. But anyway, yeah, Indian Yellow, I've got some Phalo Blue, and I've, I've mixed some Titanium White with Phalo Blue, make a nice sky colour. Might be a bit too much phalo blue in there, but we'll see what happens when we plonk it on. And titanium white on its own. And of course, in the middle, I've remembered this time, I've got some linseed oil. And anyway, we shall get going. So I'll put my main camera back on and off we go. See you in a minute. Right then, I've got a Dexter glove on. I have only got one on. It's sort of a Michael Jackson style. Because I ripped the other one just uh, off camera then, so I uh, can't be bothered in climbing over all my stuff to get another one. So uh, one glove at the minute. But anyway, we shall get going. I'll get my flat brush, which I forgot to clean, so it's a bit, it's a bit tacky, but it doesn't matter, I don't suppose. Um, not for my style of painting, anyway. So we'll get going. So I'm just going to get some. Olive green first of all, with a bit of um, linseed oil. What's all this creaking upstairs? The the room upstairs. It's uh, creaking. I don't know what they're doing upstairs. Should I think? Might add a bit of red ochre as well. And some Payne's Grey. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it was uh, really nice getting away again. Proper break. Pain's grey down here in the foreground. Yeah, I haven't done a landscape on cardboard yet, so uh, it might be interesting what happens. We shall see. Right, let's do the sky. We'll come back to that in a minute. There's a few fingerprints on there already from earlier. A bit of this phalo blue with titanium white. Get my brush, just give it a quick wipe. Me and uh, Trudy, the Duchess of Fife, were laughing earlier because um, she can be quite gullible at times. Um, oh god, it was over ten years ago, 
um, we lived in this little village and sometimes there'd be you'd get backpackers walking past the house and on one occasion I'd you know my, my wife was out in the garden and um, I could hear her chattering away to a couple of hikers and I could hear them talking, they, they were admiring this uh, grandfather clock, which we still got, we still got in the house, which kind of doubles as a drinks cabinet, although there's never anything in it because whenever we get something we always drink it, that's the whole point. But anyway, we have this, uh, this grandfather clock and because it was a bit smaller than a grandfather clock I called it the uncle clock. Just kind of jokingly, you know. And, you know, I, I, I told my wife that it was an uncle clock rather than a grandfather clock. Knowing full well that there's no such thing as an uncle clock. It was just uh, the silly way my brain works. But anyway, she went out, she, I could hear her talking in the garden. And these two touristy backpacking folk said, Oh, I like your grandfather clock. Because I could see it through the, the front door of the house that was in the background. And... She said, well, actually, I, I have you know, it is an uncle clock. Because <laughs> my wife believed it was an actual uncle clock rather than a grandfather clock. But they, these two backpack, back, I can't talk, backpackers were like, oh, OK then, and kind of disappeared off, thinking, what is this woman on? And... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I uh, had to break the news to the wife that it was just me naming it to uh, Uncle Clock. They don't actually exist. <laughs> but yeah, you know, she's very clever. You know, she's, uh, you know, she's a veterinary nurse, so you've got to have... Uh, Plenty of brain cells rattling about. I tried veterinary nursing, but I couldn't do it. it. Just wasn't cut out for it, I suppose. Yeah, I tried it some years ago and didn't work out. Just happy with what I'm doing now. I think to be anything to do with veterinary work you have to want to do it and I didn't I didn't want it enough you know well I've got a bit of a sky on there the sky is all right I'm not 100 percent sure about this foreground a bit but we'll carry on regardless see what happens just gonna add some of this uh, blue just down there and that's a bit of titanium white as well. I'm going to go over the horizon a bit. There's some, a load of lines forming. As you can see, this is, this is corrugated cardboard, so you get lines. But you can easily uh, make the lines disappear, just using a finger. tired arm already you know I've had a break from painting for the past couple of days you know with being away so um, I thought my arm would be quite well rested by now but it's not it's hurting just painting every day it's, uh, it does hammer your shoulder it does mine anyway 
No, that is not bad, that sky. I quite like it. Um, right, let's sort out all this. I wonder how the paint wipes away. Because, you know, using kitchen towel to wipe away. On canvas, you need gesso on and, you know, it wipes away quite nicely. be interesting to see if it wipes away from cardboard, which it doesn't because the cardboard seems to soak it off. But it's just an experiment, just to see. Anyway, we'll carry on. Uh, let's have a look. Give me brush a quick wipe again. Yeah, I once, uh, <laughs> once told me why, because we've got, um, I live in North Wales, and pretty much from our house you can see um, the huge wind farm across Liverpool Bay. It's absolutely flaming enormous. Now, depending on where the light is in the day and where you're stood in relation to the light, the can optical illusion makes it look like that the wind farm has moved. But it's, it's all a trick of the light, you know, it, it depends where you stand it. And um, my wife inquired about this, she, she asked me, oh look, it's, uh, it's moved. Now, I said, rather than, oh yeah, it's a trick of the light, you know, depends where the sun is. I said, yeah, um, there's a man <laughs> who, uh, it, it's all, the, the whole wind farm floats and there's a man who drives it <laughs> across the bay <laughs> to get the wind. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if she believed me that time, but uh, <laughs> at she, she didn't admit <laughs> to uh, believing me. But yeah, I do like winding people up. Now, get my palette knife. I just had some stuff. A bit of uh, red ochre. There's some Indian yellow in there mixture. Might add some uh, Indian yellow to titanium white. I do love Indian yellow. Um, it comes out sort of sand coloured out of the tube, but the second you add any white to it, the colour just pops. It is an uh, amazing colour. Let's add a bit to that, to the sky. Palette knife again. Put a bit down here. <laughs> Might also get my where's my long handle brush? I was waving it about earlier. In front of my palette. Uh, where is it? Oh, for God's sake. Oh, it's behind there. Isn't that typical? Behind my camera. Oh, no, it's the wrong one. Oh, come on, John. Uh, oh, I can't find it. I'll use this one. This will do. Um, might just add a bit more red ochre, Indian yellow, and just. Sorry about that horrible noise it makes. She's got all them lines again, you see. Oh, where is that other brush? Hmm. I really wanted it. I wonder if I've dropped it somewhere while we're talking. I probably have. Um, oh, God. Sure, it makes fascinating viewing when you're trying to find a brush. Um, what's behind there? Yes, that's it, I've found it now, God. 
Right, what was I doing? That was it. Just plonk a bit of... Oh, that's better. I'm all at home with this brush. Bit of... Uh, olive green as well. And some paint grey. Again, excuse the horrible noise. Yeah, I have to paint on cardboard a bit more often, I think. Um, Van Gogh, he painted on cardboard sometimes. Um, who else was that? Larry, he painted on cardboard. And so many others, you know, I've just, just named two off the top of my head. Yeah, it's not looking bad at all. Quite like it. Just give me a brush a quick wipe. in the distance there. So add a bit more titanium white to that Indian yellow. What the hell is that? It's a bloody fly then landed on the canvas. Did you see that? Oh, it's that time of year, they all come out of hibernation. It's like the deep. I don't know, I was going to say uh, something then, but uh, yeah, it's like um, the deep Sahara Desert. They come out all over the shop. Oh, nice bit of movement. Right, how long have we gone? 15 minutes, nearly done. Titanium white, nice glow to it, as I say. I think we're nearly done. Life again. Just put a couple of bits here, rocks and things. But other than that, I think we're done. So thank you so much for watching. It does mean a heck of a lot in your comments as well. Yeah, it's a landscape. It's very quick. Perhaps a little haphazard, but um, it's all good fun and it doesn't take long. I quite like that little bit of white there. That's nice. So, uh, yeah, it'll do for me. So, thanks again and I will see you in the next video. Don't forget I'm on YouTube, Instagram, well, YouTubes, obviously, Instagram, Facebook and John Kidd dot co dot uk just put uh, john kid artist into google and i show up don't just put john kid because i think there's an accountant called john kid and uh, 
various other people but um yeah put john kid artist and i'll pop up so thank you so much and i will see you in the next video bye bye